Hey everybody, welcome back. Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing and today I want to talk to you about filling the bite. How do you know what is on your line, why is that important, and how to fight that fish once you hook up. Well, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Push the bell notification. It will let you know the next time I upload the video. And feel free to share and leave a comment below if you have one, possibly a tip that I missed, or something that works for you. All right, so on this Texas All Water Fishing, we're talking about feeling the bite. Once you hook up to a fish and you have them on your line, how do you know what kind of fish it is? I mean, is it a speckled trout? Is it a red? Is it a flounder? And... And why is that important? Speckled trout. Now, a lot of times trout will have that quick hit, that quick strike, and you have to be very quick on setting that hook. Trout have a big mouth and they also have very thin jaws. So you don't want to do a huge hook set where you penetrate the mouth and, mouth and you rip their mouth and lose the fish. But you do want to make it a quick quick strike because like I said a lot of times they'll just nap at it they're not really going to be as committed as biting your lures as maybe say a red or a flounder now once you feel that quick strike and you do have your hook set one of the things that trout are known for is big head shakes they're going to shake their head a lot so when you do have a trout on and you feel the quick head shake, you feel the, the quick bite, you feel the head shake, you want to make sure that you have your line tight. You don't want to get any slack in your line because that hook is in there and once they shake their head, that, that hole on their real thin mouths uh, can easily take your jig head or your lure out of their mouth the hook can easily come out so that's why it's important to know if you have a trout on because you really don't want to let slack get in your line because they'll do a head shake again and that hole that hook that lure will come out especially once they hit the surface and that's a thing with trout is just a few minutes after the fight you get a couple of head shakes you start rolling them in keeping your line tight they'll come to surface and they'll start shaking their head and that's a lot of times as anglers we will lose the trout they will lose the speck at that when they hit the top water and they're shaking the head so really important to know what you have on your line and what you're feeling and know what you're feeling when you are fighting them and the same goes for when you bring them in and you're netting keep that line tight you don't have to really pull and muscle them in but you do want that line to stay tight because you the the harder the longer you fight them the the larger that hole is going to open up in their mouth and the easier it is for you to lose that fish but that's trout quick bite head shakes they hit the top water relatively quickly they hit the the water surface relatively quickly and then you can see a lot of splashing and head shake and that's when you know you you have a you have a speck on or even a sand trout flounder now how do you know when you have a flounder on now it's flounder is pretty the, one of the easiest fish to recognize and feel because first of all you're probably going to be somewhere around the bottom uh, of the area that you're fishing and be on the bottom of the water and you kind of feel like a thump or you'll, you'll run into a wall kind of you may almost think sometimes you almost think that you're stuck maybe you ran to oyster reef or you ran to some kind of structure down there now typically when you do have a flounder on that is when you have to do a hard hook set and the reason for that is because flounder have a really strong uh really bony mouth 
and what you want to do is really 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 set that hook you want to pop it hard you want to get that penetration you want it that hook to come through their jaw and that way you have a really nice a very good secure hook set you don't want to wait too long you don't want it to go in their belly you don't want to gut hook the flounder especially if it's undersized and, or if you're not keeping but once you do have a flounder on a lot of times what they're going to do is they're going to lay on bottom and then they're going to when you start rolling them in they can pull drag some of the bigger ones they could they could really pull some drag too and one of the easiest ways to tell is just by the way they're shaped and the flounder are shaped flat and you will feel that motion such as that and they'll hold down some too um they're not they will come to surface and then you'll see them and but they're not going to come to surface as quick as say a speckle trout will but yes flounder have a get that really good strong firm hook set deep penetrating hook set and again uh, this is good rule of thumb is do not let your line go slack when you're finding any fish um like i mentioned before with speckled trout especially flounders you don't really have to worry about that too too much but if you don't have a good hook set do not let that line go slack a lot of times if you don't have a good hook set and the flounder does come to surface and they open their mouth or they do the head shake and they open their mouth when they hit the surface area of the water then you'll see your lure come flying out and that tells you right there you did not get that good of a hook set one of the things that i would mention when it comes to speckled trout is that i will not reset my hook when i'm fighting them don't pull again set that hook once boom don't pull again sometimes with flounder and I'm fighting them I might give a little bit more of a tug just to make sure it's really dug in there I'm not gonna set it hard like I did the first time but I will give it a little bit more tug to make sure that hook set is, is really secure before I try to bring them to the surface and before I try to net them because let's face it we lose a lot of fish when we are netting them and or lose them uh, when they hit the surface and shake their head we, you lose a lot of fish in that area redfish now how do you know when you have a redfish on now redfish are extremely fun to catch even the smaller undersized redfish will give you a great fight and they pull extremely hard a red is very very fun to catch for me it's as far as the fight goes it's uh, the funnest inshore fish uh personally for me to catch because although I do enjoy catching flounder reds are just fun just to bring in because the fight is so the the, the fight is so intense they're they're really strong they pull hard and once you have that hook once once you have that bite you really want to set that hook pretty hard as well similar like a flounder you want to penetrate that mouth and you want to get that meaty part in there you want to you want to get that meaty part of their mouth or that jawline and really set that hook and make sure you have a secure hook set and once they're on they just take off they really do they they pull like a freight train uh, people say they pull like donkeys mud donkeys they 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 will drag you around if you are in your kayak you go on what is called a texas sleigh ride and those of those of you that have been on them you know they are very enjoyable and it's very intense and it's a very it's a really really a fun fight to get on those reds but reds will hold down they will hold their head down a lot they won't come to surface as quick as a trout will they're gonna pull you they're gonna pull hard you can even have them you know within several feet from your kayak or if you're weight fishing or your boat and they're not gonna come to surface until you really have to especially if they're on the larger side you really have to force them up you just keep that line tight reel down pull reel down pull just really keep that line tight you don't want to let any slack in your line a lot of times when it comes to reds i will let them run a little bit i will let them get their first initial run keeping that line tight i i will baby them a lot because I don't want to have an issue with my line. I don't want to have an issue with the knot. I don't want the hook to be pulled from being too aggressive. So it's kind of a fine line there when it comes to fighting reds on how much 
force you can give them and how much how much leeway you can but um, there it is is extremely fun and, and you really gonna know when you have a good red on because he's not gonna come to surface he is gonna bail down there and he's gonna pull uh, as much line away and really fight for her life you will get head shakes on redfish as well but it's a bigger profound fish so you're gonna feel more power than you are gonna feel movement uh, unlike a speckled trout but yeah but it is really important to know what you have in your on your line after the fish strikes because you have to know how are you how you want it you want to finesse it in like a trout where you're not gonna pull too much of uh, uh you're you're not gonna fight them as hard because you don't want to pull your hook um you know it, having that big hook set for a flounder to make sure you penetrate the jaw or like in my case a lot of times if it's a big big red i'm gonna let him run i'm gonna let him tire himself out i'm gonna let him drag me around in the kayak because when i get him to the kayak and i try to net him i don't want him green anymore i want him pretty worn out i want him pretty tired that way it's easier for me to get him in the net unlike a trout a trout i'm gonna let it i'm gonna net the trout as fast as i can without pulling the hook just for the simple fact that i don't want to lose him at the net because i don't want it to be a long fight because again that thin that thinner mouth is gonna make a bigger hole the longer the fight is and i have more possibility of losing him especially at the net and then the flounder the same thing you know when you're at the net and you're, you're at the kayak you're at the boat you want to make sure that that's why you want to make sure you have such a good hook set because last thing you want to do is him open his mouth and you see your lure flying one way and the flounder going another way and that is heartbreak hotel all day but it is extremely important to know when you are targeting fish what fish you have on your line to make sure that you land that fish and you're able to secure it and uh, put it on a stringer or enjoy them for a second tell them have a good day and watch them swim away but hey this is Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing I hope you appreciated this video hope you uh, got some information out of it and this is kind of like you know for you know beginners um, if you will or people who are new to fishing or targeting fish or new to kayak fishing or new to saltwater fishing but again don't forget to subscribe it really helps the channel out a lot i appreciate each and every one of you until next time hopefully you catch me hooking up thanks <laughs>